Jason Witten has called it a career again, and he leaves the NFL as the all-time leader in games played from the tight end position, not to mention an 11-time Pro Bowler, which makes him one of the best tight ends ever. For more, I'm joined by Bill Enright. And Bill, when you're talking about the actual best tight end you've ever seen, who's that in your opinion? Yeah, so I think this is a fun conversation, right? Because there's been so many productive tight ends, and they all do something a little bit differently. But to me, Tony Gonzalez is the best tight end of all time. He missed only two games throughout his 17 years in the NFL, and he was really, really productive throughout his entire career with quarterbacks like Elvis Gerback, Tyler Thigpen, Trent Green. Not exactly the Tom Brady's that a guy like Rob Gronkowski had. And Gonzalez is a player that really did it all. You look at the tight end position, you have to do two things really well. You have to be able to block, and you have to be able to produce down the field, stretch the seam, and convert first downs. And Tony Gonzalez did all that among the best in the NFL. I used to love watching him fly through the end zone, dunk it on the goalpost after scoring a touchdown. That, of course, is, is a penalty. But Tony J, to me, he's the best tight end of all time. It was not even the only basketball move he made. I can just like sort of picture him boxing out the, the defender, right? So when it comes to career value, I think you're correct. It's Tony Gonzalez. When it comes to peak value, I'd probably go with Gronk. You know, he, he caught for more yards per reception than Gonzalez. He had a 17-touchdown season. You know, with the ball in his hands just running down the field, I think I'd, I'd be more uh, afraid of Gronkowski. Now, there's other guys who deserve mention in this conversation. Antonio Gates. I think Shannon Sharp is a pioneer of that wide receiver s tight end. And Travis Kelsey is rapidly climbing the ranks. But I would say for career value, it's Tony Gonzalez. For peak value, it's Gronk to me. 